and Edith, I know you're a tennis fan. Can I just say no swearing because your mum, Eleanor and Sandy, oh. are in the audience here. <laughs> They're watching me. Is she, a bit, <laughs> is she a bit potty mouth sometimes? Sometimes. Oh, is it? How dare they? We're going to get them to dish the dirt. <laughs> now, you're saying there's a festival for everyone. Can yeah. I just say you're going to have an uphill struggle today? Janet, do you mind if I quote from your uh, piece that you wrote at the weekend? Right, this is what <laughs> Janet thinks about music festivals. Life... Shall I do the accent? No. <laughs> no, 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 no. Life is too short to wear unflattering Wellingtons, pee in a yoghurt carton, <laughs> spend sleepless nights in a noisy ten, and uh, watch musicians so far away they look like they're matchstick men and women. That's what Janet thinks about. I have the Go perfect on, sell festival it to her. for you. What? You need to go wilderness in Oxfordshire. It's all food based. So there's we've a got little to be bit full of middle class there's people. A, like yourself. There's a little <laughs> <laughs> There's a little bit of music spotted around. There's yeah. glamping, so you don't need to worry about the, that the kind of tent tents. Now. No, it doesn't. Doesn't it? it could involve either a beautiful old gypsy caravan or a yacht <laughs> or a teepee. Oh, I like that's that. quite good. Or you could stay in a B and B down the road. But what's the point? <laughs> it's a communal experience. It's yeah. about having fun with other people. Do I look like I need... <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you take your tennis like coach <laughs> and go to wilderness no, for the I weekend? No, I went. Edith, I did go. I, I went once to Glastonbury, backstage, had a look from the side, bugged off back to my hotel and felt a lot better after 15 minutes. And then I, this morning, because I'm so old, I actually remembered I went to Glastonbury at the very, very beginning when it was free, I think. Mm -hmm. I stumbled through a hedge, and there, miles away, was the stage with the little matchstick people on it, and there were loads of men weeing in the hedge. <laughs> and I See, Glastonbury's one extreme, though. It is enormous. Yeah. I think when it's on, it's something like the sixth yeah. biggest city in the UK oh, or something God. ridiculous. It? Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> but there are really specific small things yeah. that you can go to. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it is supposed to be super hip, isn't it, Glastonbury? But it was Lionel Richie that, that apparently was What's the absolute star. What's not hip about of... Lionel? No, no, I, I love, no, no, but see, no, no, I love Lionel, but then I don't consider myself hip, whereas I would have thought that Glastonbury is where really kind of cool people go. The, that's the great thing about festivals as well. It's not, you can't be snobbish about music when you're at a festival because you're completely taken by the atmosphere. I mean, the great thing about watching that Lionel performance was seeing the different generations of people who were singing every word yeah, yeah, it's to fantastic. those songs. I mean, and really rocked And it, that's kind of what I've, I kind of kept coming over again and again mm. when I was doing my book sort of thing, was this kind of thing, it was this communal thing. It's I about this different range of ages who are experiencing well, festivals. Well, you bring your kids, don't you, to Yeah, the I mean, I had Rudy, um, he's seven, and he, I, I did glass and recovery two weeks after on the C-section. Well, wow. um, So I was wow. kind of thrown to kind of the Chemical Brothers, going to my producer, Sally, how long were we on stage for, uh, on this performance for? She's like, 12 minutes. I'm like, I'll be back in eight. And I kind of waddled off to, like, my little porter cabin and expressed milk and put it in my little, <laughs> my little fridge in the corner to take back to kind of give him wow. a bit back to the hotel. My mum was there. And then the next year, he was a year old, and we circumnavigated the site with him on my back and just... You just got it's a, it's a frame of mind I think mm, festivals. Yeah. You if you're prepared and you're ready and you're up for it then you'll have a great time. Well you've written this book Great British Music Festivals uh, and oh, so yeah. it is sort of going through and I mean there's so many it's such a scene now isn't yeah. it? I mean it's become absolutely massive. Jamelia is a recent convert. <laughs> We're not all Yes, yeah, so, um, last year um, I went to the Wireless Festival. That was my first my first festival as an attendee. And I Loved it. Well, you I've, must have I've, played it. Well, well, I've played at loads of them, but never. But being in the crowd is such a different experience. I was j honestly, I had the best time. And the only reason I'm not going this year is because my girls have got a play on, and it was I had to choose between them and Nicki Minaj. How old are your okay. girls? I chose the girls. They're 14, <laughs> they're, um, they're 14 and nine. But I bought my 14 year old, to, so it was her first festival as well. And. We loved it. You've got to take Absolutely them to Camp Festival. Camp Festival. We'd love we're, it. Endorse it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. it's what, brilliant. What's, what's Come it on. It's, it's a kids. It's so it's basically the kid version of Festival All right. that's oh. put on an Isle of Wight. And so, whereas, you know, Bestival's tailored for the adults, yeah. it's tailored for the kids to tell you what they want to do. Oh. But there's still loads of great music, yeah. and it's amazing. You really you must yeah. have know your stuff, don't you? <laughs> We're in a big quiet. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you must have had some miserable experiences, though. And, and then that's almost but part they, of the yeah. whole kind of thing, isn't it? it to sort of trade totally. stories. Totally. I remember yeah. um, um, the first Glastonbury my husband and I uh, had together, it was Glastonbury again, and it was that year where the tents were kind of, you know, there was a lovely current taking them all off <laughs> down past Frome and where you go. Oh, no. And we um, and we woke up in this tent and it was and he I just remember him saying to me, Don't move 
And I was like, I'm thinking there's some kind of crazy creature or <laughs> someone in our tent. And it was because there was like half a foot of water that if we moved, it would just kind of gushed into our wow, sleeping bags. Gosh. But you kind of look back on it and <laughs> it's just... Wasn't that yeah. great? <laughs> 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 you do. Yeah. Remember you that do. time we were covered in yeah. mud and the tent was moving down? <laughs> I loved it. It was great. Yeah. Oh, well, Edith, thank you very much. And thank you for recommending that Janet should go to wilderness yeah. because we all go with that. Thank you. <laughs>